The holiday season is about to be in full swing, so I thought it would be fun to show you how to create the gift tracker I use every year to stay organized over the holidays. It summarizes how much you've budgeted, how much you've spent, the number of gifts you bought, gifts left to buy, and much more. Let's get started. First, make sure to download the gift tracker template I created for you in the caption below so that you don't have to worry about setting up this worksheet. Once you've downloaded the template, add all the people you need to buy gifts for in the name column, the gift you plan to buy for them in the item column, and the amount you have budgeted for the gift in the budget column. Once you've entered all of your holiday gift data, the next step is to add checkboxes in the first column of the table to track the gifts you've purchased. To add checkboxes, Select the first column of the table, navigate to the Insert tab, select Checkboxes, and now we can quickly check off gifts we purchased. For example, I just went to the store and bought Maddie, Emma, and Kate's gifts, so I'm going to enter the amount I spent on each gift and then check off the box next to their name. The last column of the table calculates the amount over or under budget we are for each gift. To calculate this, we need to subtract the amount we spent from the amount we budgeted. So I'm going to enter equals, select the first value in column J, enter the minus sign, and then select the first value in column K. Now that we've calculated the first value, we can calculate the rest by filling the formula down the column using the autofill handle. We are almost done creating our holiday gift data table. The last thing I like to do is add conditional formatting to the last column to visualize how much over or under budget we are for each gift. We can use color scales to highlight the cell red if we are over budget, green if we are under budget, or remain white if we are equal to budget. To do this, select column L, open the conditional formatting dropdown on the Home tab, select Color Scales, and then More Rules. Once the dialog box opens, open the Format Style dropdown and select 3 Color Scale because we want the cells to be highlighted red, white, or green. As you can see here, the minimum values are already colored red and the maximum values are already colored green, so we just need to edit the midpoint values. Instead of using a percentile scale, we need to set the midpoint equal to zero so that any negative number is highlighted red and any positive number is highlighted green. To set the midpoint equal to zero, set the type equal to number and make sure that zero is entered as the value. Lastly, we need to update the midpoint color to white using the color dropdown and then hit OK to apply the color scale to our data. As you can see here, it is much easier to see that we went over budget for Kate's gift, under budget for Emma's, and we were right on budget for Maddie's. Now that our holiday gift table is complete, we can calculate the top values to summarize our data. The first two boxes calculate the total amount we budgeted and the total number of gifts we have to buy. We can calculate the budget amount by summing the budget column in our data table. So I'm going to enter the sum function, select column J, and then enter the function to calculate the total budget. Next, we have the total number of gifts we need to purchase. We can calculate this using the count A function to count the number of cells containing data in the item column. Just enter the count A function, select the item column, and enter the function to count the number of gifts listed. The middle two boxes calculate the total amount we've spent and the number of gifts we've purchased. We can calculate the total spent by summing the spent column in our table. So I'm going to enter the sum function and select column K. Next, we have the total gifts bought. We can calculate this using the count if function to count the number of checked checkboxes. To do this, enter count if and select the column containing checkboxes as a range argument. Next, enter true as the criteria argument to count the number of checkboxes within the range that are checked, and then enter the function. The last two boxes calculate the amount of your budget you have left to spend and the number of gifts you have left to buy. These two values simply subtract the first two boxes, so I'm going to subtract total budget minus total spent to calculate the amount of budget left, and then subtract total gifts minus total gifts bought to calculate the number of gifts we have left to buy. We have officially created our holiday gift tracker, and the best part about this is that the top values automatically update as we fill out our table. This gift tracker is a lifesaver for me during the holidays, so hopefully you find it as helpful as I do. Oh, and before I forget, I hope everyone has an excellent holiday season. 
As always, if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more.